starts in eight minutes. Yum, yum. It's time for a tasty and refreshing snack. Good morning, Andrew. Good morning, Charlotte. Good to have you both with me. It's a beautiful Saturday out there. We promise to satisfy your hunger, your thirst, your sweet tooth. So visit our refreshment center now. Let's go! Show starts in seven minutes. It's refreshment time, folks. Taste that beats the others cook. Pepsi pours it on. Taste that beats the others go. Pepsi pours it on. Yum, yum. It's a meal in itself. Our all-meat super dog. Enjoy one now. Show starts in six minutes. As everyone knows, rainbows usually have a treasure at the end. Let's follow this one and see if we can find the pot of gold. Brother, I suppose you've come to claim me treasure. Well, we'd like to see the gold first. They think there's better than gold in here, we had. No, no, just look here, though. Candy, refreshing soft drinks, popcorn, ice cream. Well, that's some treasure, but anyone can buy luscious treats like these at the snack bar. You don't tell me! Do you suppose you can get me a job as a snack bar attendant? Show starts in five minutes. and stretch, visit our concession where you'll find something to please you. There are ice cold drinks, delicious sandwiches, ice cream, coffee and snacks, and many other pleasing treats. Our foods are fresh and tasty, our drinks satisfying and refreshing. They're so good. You get more out of life when you go out to a movie. Show starts in four minutes. Visit our snack bar and treat yourself to some delicious Castleberry's pit cooked barbecue sandwiches. Cook the Castleberry way slowly over open pits of glowing charcoal, then season with a sauce that's zesty, yet delightfully mild to please the entire family. Also at the snack bar you'll find popcorn and soft drinks and candy and french fries to go with your Castleberry's barbecue sandwiches. There's plenty of time before the movie starts, so visit our snack bar right now for Castleberry's pit-cooked barbecue sandwiches. Still plenty of time to come and be served at the refreshment center before showtime. Robot. Show starts in three minutes. Talk about this. You've got to stay. No, 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 no. Starts in two minutes. Your attention, please. 
All new hotshot electric in-car heaters have been installed for your comfort and convenience. Just insert heater through car window and turn on the switch. When leaving, please turn switch off and replace on speaker post. Warning, high voltage. For your own safety, do not attempt to repair or remove wires. Do not attempt to open heater unit. If you need assistance, please notify the theater box office or concession manager. to replace the speaker on the post when you leave the theater. monster with me your host easel monster it's great to see everyone again this morning welcome charlotte mary and d'souza welcome chris julius welcome uh, uh everybody else who i've seen on the feed here this morning who was here with me thanks everybody for showing up welcome to paint by monster the little art show with big monster ideas and uh Boys and girls, I've got more stuff to show you today, show and tell for you today. Here, I thought maybe you'd like to see this from yesterday. Um, this was my original pencil sketch before we went on the air, before I went live, of the Mothman drawing. And I drew this first. And then, yesterday, I redrew it live on the air. And then, after we were off the air yesterday, I finished it. Like this, I did this. So, uh, hang on, I'll give you a big shot of that. I did this, uh, Mothman. You know, cryptozoology, Mothman was a, look, Google Mothman. Mothman was a, I don't know, uh, some sort of an alien creature, maybe an alien-human hybrid. And uh, he used to pull people out of their packards and bite them and do awful things to them, but Moth there's a statue of Mothman somewhere. It's a bronze statue. Uh, and so anyway, and, and this is one of those things I want to talk to you about um, very quickly. The, the, during the making of this, I had this moment where as I was painting the eyes red, I was thinking about the... Um, you know, when you're an artist, you've got the red open and you've got a little puddle of red there in front of you and you ask the question, is there anything else in this piece that's red? I should probably put red somewhere else, not just one place, because that's artist thinking. But then I thought, you know, that's not the way to go about it. The way I really want to go about this is, no, no, act like you were an eyewitness at a Mothman uh, magic event happening where he was like, you know, zapping somebody with a mana blast and uh, just pretend you were a, an eyewitness. Make it, make it like you were an eyewitness. So, I did this. I did, I did this. Oh, by the way, all the art, boys and girls, that you ever see me make on the show is available on my website at paintbymonster.com. Now, also, oftentimes, because when I make art, boys and girls, I shed something fierce. during the making of the art, I will glue some of the pieces of me that I shed onto the original art. You can see up there by the antennas, this, I'm blowing. 
There's one of my little hairs that's glued onto this art. This is available on the website, boys and girls. You can see all of this stuff there, and uh, it was fun. Man, it's a cool song. We listened to the, the music of Apache Tomcat. I'm not going to play it again today. We've got other stuff to do. Um, again, if you're just joining us, welcome to Paint by Monster with me, your host, Easel Monster. This is a little art departure each uh, weekdays and Saturdays at 11 with me, your host, Easel Monster, where we will get up on out of here and go make some art. Speaking of that, boys and girls, let's go through our pre-launch checklist and go up into orbit and make some art. How's that? All right, let's go through our pre-launch checklist, boys and girls. Mr. Penny, please take your station. Thank you. All right, Mac, back nice and slow, please. Release the docking slams and fire main thrusters. All right, we're coming to station. MacVac, if you please release the inertial dampers. Mr. Penny, if you'll please assume your rest station. Boys and girls, we've reached orbit. Let's make some art, shall we? show and tell with me today um this is the this is the art for a door hanger <laughs> you know like i said boys and girls we are at paint by monster we are hovering just above muncie indiana and so while we're hovering it seems to me that the people who live in muncie indiana might want to know maybe so this is a door this is an oversized version of the door hanger there is a monster living inside the top of Muncie's downtown water tower. Not really, it's a show. So, um, I put some little art, I told the story. Paint by Monster is a little web show about art and being an artist, plus puppetry, cartoons, robots, jokes, music, a giant cat, art instruction, UFOs, sculpting, trivia, watch, Paint by Monster, live on Facebook. Days are Saturdays at 11. And here you are. 11 of you are right now here at 11 with me, Easel Monster. Glad you're here. This is what we're going to work on some more today, boys and girls. This is the art that we started yesterday. And by we, I mean me. So, this is a boss cat. And uh, we talked yesterday about the idea of loving your villain enough to give him some story space too, you know? So here's our cat boss. He's, he's obviously a plotter, planner. <laughs> and here is the, the little cat toy that I like the idea of this hooked to his chair. So I thought we'd do some more inking on this today. Here's a computer screen so he can stay abreast of world events as he plans his takeover of the world. And all of these little, <laughs> little treasure boxes with little creatures inside that he enjoys torturing because that's how he is. But here's the star of the show right here, folks. Secret Spy Mouse. Oh, stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Steampunk the Elephant. Stay back, Steampunk the Elephant. Let's do some more inking on Steampunk the Elephant, shall we? Bum, 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 ba, da, da, bum, bum. How are you doing today? 
what are you doing today? Now, I see this this elephant here, uh, R2, excuse me, MacVac. I don't need R2 right now. MacVac, could you please give me that uh, close table shot, please? Yes, thank you. All right. Now, here goes this. Boys and girls, thank all of you for watching and showing up and commenting today, but my robot that shows me the comments, it just went offline. So, today, I'm probably not going to do a great job of interacting with all of you. Forgive me for that. this. I need to give him a little chain. I want him to have a, a chain, a chain coming down here, you know, from his glasses. And I think maybe I'll, I'll, I'll do it like this. This could be our chain. one of those moves that once you start it, you sort of regret that you did it. Like, oh no, that's a lot of little tiny pieces and bits and parts. That's all right. There's too much going on to, to, for anybody to pay too much close attention. So, one of the other things that's going on for me today and for Mrs. Monster. Yesterday evening, we went outside and I tilled the garden, boys and girls. <laughs> so today, today it's time to put some stuff in the garden and plant some stuff. And that is really, really exciting. All right. Now, I, he's had to be very, very fashion forward, I think, this, this elephant. In fact, I think maybe the fashion plays sort of an important role in what this whole piece is. As I said yesterday, this, oh, this uh, sort of Asian-inspired clothing that the boss cat is wearing. All right, these are some pointy things. I think maybe some silver, you know, but he did this to himself. He, he means it. This guy. This elephant. He's sort of a uh, Cato sort of a character, I think. All right. Uh, you know, there's no reason his trunk doesn't have to be that long, but... I think I like it that long, but uh, maybe a little smaller here. You know, maybe a little smaller end. Like, we'll chop it there. Yeah, and this. Elephants have that nice thing on the end where they can pick up stuff. Yeah, that's nice, okay. Oh, forgive me, I was doing all that off camera. Boy, I gotta watch that more closely. So, I also today want to spend a little bit more time. Uh, we'll do some inking on the uh, statues of Mon Robot. You need to focus. Some statues of Muncie. There's a lot of nice, weird statues here in Muncie, Indiana. I mean, weird. There's a giant concrete Paul Bunyan outside of a restaurant that moms and dads get to eat in. Yesterday, I did some inking on this. This is a restaurant called Timbers in Muncie, Indiana. And uh, there's a giant concrete Paul Bunyan out front. And as I said yesterday, I sort of have this idea that I want to put together a little coloring book 
And uh, something for the boys and girls to understand what's going on in Mushy. Yeah, there he is. some of this. Yeah. It's got that red uh, cap on that I just love. Yeah. 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 Also, boys and girls, If you find yourself in Munchley, Indiana, and and you need uh, sheet metal fabrication work done, may I recommend M. Delbert Dawson and Sons Sheet Metal Fabrication. Go you. Why won't it play? It's the same place as the big metal man. There's a statue of a uh, metal sheet metal man right out in front of their place. Delbert M. Dawson and Sons Incorporated. Industrial fabrication. This is on Kilgore, right across the street from the big cemetery, the Beech Grove Cemetery in Muncie, Indiana. Look at this thing. This thing's been standing here for years. I love all those little rivets. Once again, this is another weird statue where I live in Muncie, Indiana. The Dawson's Sheet Metal Statue Man. I love how they did these, uh, yeah, Delbert M. Dawson and Son. Oh, I guess his son's singular. He's only got the one. Yeah. 1405 West Kilgore Avenue in Muncie, Indiana. Here's what I love about the Sheet Metal Man over here. I love how they did the fingers. It looks like they've just taken a cylindrical tube on the fingers and just have crimped it several times to produce that hand shape and I just love that I just love that <laughs> yeah that's great man M. Delbert Dawson's sheet metal fabrication get some of that done here while you're in Muncie yeah come on Muncie <laughs> All right. Now, I've made a mess over here with some ink, but that's all right. You'll never see it. Let's go back down here and give this elephant some more thinking to do. I think this needed to come up like this. We'll fix that too this, like this. Yeah, that's nice. And uh, I've got to start working on this. We'll establish where this ear is. And also, I want him to have a, a piercing out here. I like an elephant with a pierced ear. He's steampunk, man. Steampunk the elephant. He's got mad elephant skills, but he's not the boss. This guy down here, man. He's in charge. You can tell. I hope you were finding a way to get away from it all. I hope so. It's important, boys and girls. 
Each day I'm playing by monster. We're trying to get away from it all just a little bit. Come on. You can hear about bad stuff all over the place. All over the place. I don't know that I needed that, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, here we go. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, that much. Let's take a boat to Bermuda. Let's take a plane to St. Paul. Let's grab a kayak to Quincy or Nyack. Let's get away from it all. Oh, let's take a trip in a trailer. No need to come back at all. Let's take a powder to Boston for chowder. Let's get away from it all. Let's get away from it all. Maybe this one. Maybe this one up here. This little mouse. Yeah. And this little mouse prison up here. <laughs> of the back of that really the, the underside maybe you could sell that mouse I mean make convince the audience there he is all right that's nice now we'll give this a chain too repeat with variation so there's a chain here that's good let's take a boat to Bermuda let's take a plane to St. Paul yeah let's that's good Nice. Okay. So, let's go back to this. Yeah. So, today, I'm hoping today, not only to get the rest of the garden planted today with Mrs. Monster, but also... Maybe to get some other work done outside. Yeah. 
I'm making some messes here with some ink, but that's all right. I think it adds to the character of what is going on. <laughs> so, um, you, we don't worry about it. Watch the sunrise on a tropical island. See the pyramids reaching out tonight. Just remember, darling, all the work you belong to me. <laughs> See the marketplace in old Algiers. Send me photographs and souvenirs. Just remember when a dream appears. You belong to me. Yeah, oh, he's so good. I would be so alone without you. Maybe you'll be lonely. So I'm filling this space with these little cages that these creatures are in that this cat boss has in front of him to amuse himself, really, you know. <laughs> I just love the idea that there he is. Cats love little toys. So do dogs. But I love the idea that this cat boss just has little, little, little mice he's torturing and eating. And here comes... Secret Agent Mouse. Gonna do him some. Now, uh, let's do this guy's shoes. Why not? Let's get in here and ink this elephant shoes. Alright. Yeah. I want something real cartoony. and not necessarily in the right perspective. And I want him to have some wing tips. This, this. Yeah. Boys and girls, I, uh, there's another thing I wanted to do while we are together today. Um, now, this is gonna... All right, we'll let this play. <laughs> Voilà le potre à cendre toujours Et là À tout elle j'appartient Watching Paint by Monster, boys and girls. On this Saturday, May 23rd. Hey, speaking of the date, on May the 25th, this coming Monday, camera, you need to focus. And there you go. Thank you. May the 25th is 
Frank Oz's birthday. I'm going to draw Frank Oz's portrait that day. It's also the date. The anniversary date of the international release of Star Wars in 1977. Boys and girls, Saturday, May 23rd, an hour visit. Andrew Eason just now says, I gotta go now, Eason. Thanks for being with me, Andrew. Appreciate that. Thanks for all of your time. Thanks, everybody, for showing up today. Uh, Paint by Monster is a little art show, podcast, puppet show, uh, 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 intermediate art chat sort of a thing. And it's fun. I love doing the show with you every day, uh, six days a week. We've got a little more to go here, but... I know 40 minutes seems to be about the length of our visit, and uh, traffic's going good on YouTube. I got some other stuff I want to show and tell with you today, but we're going to wait for the end of this song. boys and girls you're going to show up and what all is going to happen is i'm going to ink a little picture and and i'm going to whisper and mumble sweet nothing art things into your little ears all right how about this pipe Seems like a fun thing to ink. It's one of those little steam handles, I think. You've seen those. Yeah. All right. Uh, boys and girls, I have to set this up. But, uh, I have to set this next one up. This is a, uh, well, hang on this and I gotta do some of this yeah and I need I need this and not you and I need to go here and here and that's good but what I want is I want this yeah all right so I gotta start two things here we go
Well, boys and girls, that just doesn't seem to be working as nicely as I would hope that would work. That's all right. I saw this guy yesterday. It reminded me of... An I'm going to stop this over here. Story. I shot pool with this ant one time. And, you know, he kept trying to touch the table with his his uh, antenna. And I said, buddy, you're not allowed to touch the other balls on the table. You, you can't touch them. And Commander Penny was with me in the place. And I, I, he kept putting his wiggly wogglies down on the table. And he kept touching all the balls. I said, I, listen, you're going to have to stop. Don't touch any of the other balls. It's against the rules. You're, you're not allowed to do that. And the next time he stepped up to shoot, he touched the table, and Penny just squished him right where he stopped. <laughs> Penny, well, he owes us 250 bucks, so nick his wallet and let's roll. And so, you know, but this guy, this guy here that we're watching, he just, uh, well, I owe, actually, I took him and I, I let him go. Um, he was a, a fine little house guest. Didn't want anything. Just came in. He said, hey, howdy. And uh, I like that he keeps his beard clean. I think it's important. I myself keep my beard clean or try to, you know, so. Life is happening. It's happening all around you. Most things really are interesting if you'll have the time to take a look at them. watching Paint by Monster on Saturday, May the 23rd, 2020. Thanks for being with me, everybody. I plant some tomatoes in the ground. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That ambient stuff, it gets old to me after a while, boys and girls. So I just uh, put that on someplace else. Let's do, I got some other footage I shot. Maybe I can show you this too. You know, I've been working on changing some of the pieces of footage on the show because, you know, you can't just keep using that same stuff over and over. It gets boring. People don't want to see that. I wouldn't want to see that. Thank you, all of you who are showing up. I mean to honor your showing up by giving you good stuff to look at. By the way, 
Paint by Monster is a pirate broadcast happening in Muncie, Indiana. Right here in the good old U.S. of A. Commander Penny and myself, high atop the water tower, downtown Muncie, Indiana. <laughs> that is right. Penny, what do you think about maybe going out and helping me in the, uh, and Mrs. Monster in the garden later on? Do you have any ideas about that? Can you help us with that? No? Well, all right. It's so blue sky out there today, boys and girls. It's just lovely and wonderful. I can't wait to get outside with Mrs. Monster and go get our tomatoes and plant them in the ground. I'm really looking forward to that today. I hope you're doing some stuff that you are looking forward to. Boys and girls, Paint by Monster is happening. Uh, my metrics are so good over on the videos that I've been sharing on YouTube. By the way, all of these little visits with me, some are better than others, but all of these little visits with me are, I'm, I'm reposting these to YouTube and uh, they're getting some traffic and some traction, which is so super cool. Uh, I love the show. Commander Penny, I love doing Paint by Monster. I love being with all of you. Um, it's so much fun every single day to come here and draw some stuff. By the way, look at all the stuff there on paintbymonster.com, right? Paintbymonster.com. So, meanwhile, I've got some art here to finish up and some tomatoes to plant. Boys and girls, today, Saturday, I'm not going to do the closing song. Hey, remember, May 25th is Michael Pollan's birthday. It also happens to be, or excuse me, not Michael Pollan, uh, 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 Frank Oz. Sorry about that. I got confused. I'm trying to do several things at once. Um, nah, 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 nah. Never mind that stuff. I'll do that stuff later. Okay. Sorry. Technical stuff all the time. Anyway, boys and girls, thanks for being with me on this Saturday. I know it's sort of low-key and, well, what a weird kind of a visit today, but that's okay. Um... I, we got more stuff to talk about. Monday, the big Monday show, an hour long, and we'll spend time um, talking about Frank Oz and his career and looking at the opening of Star Wars. And I know it's Memorial Day. I can't think of a better thing to talk about on Memorial Day than the amazingness that Star Wars is. I can't. Maybe you can, but not me, brother. I'm going to eat something and... Uh, Talk about Star Wars come Monday. Monday, 11 o'clock, right here on Facebook. Boys and girls, come back and hang out with me then. I love all of you. Thanks so much for showing up. I'm going to finish this art, get some tomatoes in the ground, and eat something to go bite Mrs. Monster on the neck. I'm not going to break the skin, but, you know, I'm still going to bite her. See you later. Bye. I love all of you. Thanks. See ya.